Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a part three clean with me basement edition for you guys. It is the last little cleaning video that I have for this little mini series for you guys. So if you like this video, go ahead and like it down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Click the little bell as well so you don't miss out on any videos that I post. And let's get right into cleaning this disaster. Alright, to start out, I worked in this little corner where the desks were, and these little wax papers are for my dad's t-shirt making business that he has to stack the vinyl so they don't stick together. Um, and then in this box was a whole bunch of random stuff like vinyl pieces, uh, rhinestone like pieces and templates and stuff, and also office supplies. So that box to the right of me um, has a whole bunch of office supplies in it, so I just decided to put the office stuff in that box and then keep this box for the scraps. Next with this area, I just had to pick up some shipping papers and random papers that I didn't know if I was able to throw them away or not since this is basically my dad's area. So I moved on from that little space to the other side of the room because I kind of knew what I wanted to do with the other side of the room. Um, and I started stacking his vinyl and cleaning out all of these boxes over here.
Now these square boxes right here, they are filled with my dad's markers that he sells on Amazon and he has so many of them. There are a lot of them in that other corner that I was working in as well. So I will be stacking those on the other side of the room. And if you guys are interested in his markers, I will have the link to his Amazon markers in the description box below. They are watercolor markers and they are honestly the best markers I've ever used. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. I don't use a lot of markers myself, but I think that these are really, really good quality. So if you are interested, go ahead and look in the description box below and I will have the link for you guys. So after I moved those boxes and everything, I kind of straightened up that bottom shelf and then I found these trays in one of the boxes and I decided to make use of them. So I dusted them off and decided to use them for paper, like printer paper. There was graph paper that I found and then there was also some discolored paper. Like it was a cream colored paper, yellowish colored paper in that stack that you can see right there. So I used those racks to separate that stuff. After separating everything, I decided to wipe down all these shelves and dust them all off, make them all nice and clean. Next I went through all of these drawers. Um, the drawers on the left I decided not to go through just because it was full of all of my dad's stuff and I didn't really know how to organize it all because it, they were just honestly stuffed with a whole bunch of random stuff. And this little drawer set kind of had a rhythm to it so I just organized everything in these drawers and then continued on with the rest of the cleaning. Next, each side of the shelves on each side of the TV are identical. So there was a whole bunch of vinyl on the right side and the left side. So I moved most of the vinyl from the right side over to the left from that top shelf to the other top shelf. And then I believe I moved those smaller vinyl. Yeah, I moved those smaller vinyls up to the top shelf. Next, I made use of the drawer space. This drawer already had some rhinestone tools in it, so I just decided to put those other rhinestones in there. And then this bottom shelf had screen printing stuff in it. So I kind of decided to straighten it up, make use of the both shelves so they weren't kind of both half full. And I think it turned out really good. And again, after that, I was just making use of the drawers on the other side and there were a whole bunch of just like random vinyl and screen printing stuff on the second shelf on this left side. So I just decided to roll it up and put them in this drawer to get them out of the way. And again, there was more vinyl in different places, so I just put that extra vinyl along with the other stuff. And this was my least favorite part, and I went ahead and fast forwarded it crazy amount for you guys, just because it took me like 45 minutes to do this. It was just folding all the shirts and putting them on the shelf and organizing the shirt shelves.
Next, it was time to move these tables where my dad's heat press was and where his hat press was at. Um, I just wanted to change up the room. And this is my dad's space, so I mean, he should have decided where it went. Because in the end, he really didn't like it because he couldn't see the TV from where I put the heat press. So it might end up changing, but for right now, this is where I put it. And I actually really liked it, how it turned out. This stack of shirts on this box, they were honestly, I think they had like ink on them and stuff, so I don't think my dad used them and that he couldn't use them. So I just put them in a smaller box and so I could set them underneath of the heat press. And next I was just continuing to clean this table and clear it off so I could move it next. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do All of my breath on reveling emotions I need some space to and if you've noticed I have been vacuuming as I go just because whenever I move something this is a big room but there's a lot of stuff in it so as I move something I would vacuum that area and make sure it was all clean and this was another thing that I didn't really enjoy doing was moving all of these laminate flooring boxes by myself I had to do it one by one but I ended up getting it done and I just moved them to this corner so they were out of the way I'll just make you cry and I don't want to fight with you So you won't see Cause the pain is in my eyes Feels like I could break it any moment And shatter your insides And then it was time to clear out and organize this corner of the room And to the right with the boxes with the numbers on them And that same made in China those are my dad's markers again, and I will be moving those into this corner once I get it all cleared out. First, I decided to see how this looked. I was gonna move both of our shelving units over to this side of the room so my dad could just see it. But I honestly hated it and I just moved this shelf right next to the other one. And then here I am just stacking the rest of the marker boxes. Try to give you hands and a heart to see. Right on the And now it's time just to go through these last few boxes and a lot of it was just desk supplies and I found these two bins that I ended up taking out of this box so I could possibly use them or my dad could use them whenever he figures out 
what he needs them for. So I took them out of this box. There were vinyl scraps in this box, so I put them with the other vinyl scraps. And I just cleared out these boxes. And finally, I was just finishing up the vacuuming and just making it look all nice. And this carpet was so annoying to um, vacuum because all the little pieces were just sticking to the carpet and it was making it kind of hard to clean up, but I eventually got it. And then I got a little trash can from my upstairs that I had just sitting around to give him his own trash can instead of having to use a empty box. And then I was just dusting off these tables for the finishing touch. And finally, I'm done with this room. It took me about two, two and a half hours to do. And I really liked how it turned out. Again, my dad wasn't too crazy about it because he couldn't see the TV. So it, this might change. I really hope it doesn't because I really love how it turned out. It just looks way more open. And yeah, so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Click the post notification bell too so you're not missing out on any videos that I post. Like this video if you liked it and comment down below any video requests that you have for me to do in the future. Alright guys, that's it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do All of my breath on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through